YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Big Place Slay here, coming back with another video. So today's video will be going over the Philadelphia Eagles 2022 NFL free agency. Just to overlook, we have a lot of moves to make this offseason in terms of filling out the needs and holes of this team and filling out the complete depth chart of this 53-man roster. Howie Roseman and Nick Sirianni have their works cut out for them. So let's just jump right into the t the players on our team that are free agents. I won't go too in-depth on literally every single player that are free agents on this team. But I will name two notable players on both sides of the football. Starting off with Jalen Rager. Rager is a receiver who was drafted 21st overall in the 2020 NFL Draft two years ago. Obviously, he hasn't lived up to the potential or the hype, as we would all call it, um, especially being one pick ahead of Justin Jefferson, star receiver of the Minnesota Vikings. Um, obviously, he, he's got a lot to cut out with and a lot to work with, especially being threatened in Philadelphia. The man cannot have cheesesteaks in Philadelphia, for Christ's sake. Um, and it, it honestly is sad because I wanted this guy to do good. Um, but turns out he just doesn't have the mindset and the confidence to be able to want to go out there and, you know, strive for the greatness. I don't think, I don't think we're going to get rid of him. I personally think we're going to keep him. Um, I mean, Nick Sirianni, obviously, he's not impressed with him. Uh, he, he named Quez the number two receiver. And we selected Rager one in the first round. We selected him with the 21st pick and a couple years ago. And then we drafted Quez in the sixth round. So that, that definitely is sad if you're Rager. Um, now let's look at the defense. One of the most notable players on the defensive side that has been on this team for a good while even has a Super Bowl ring with this team, was on that Super Bowl team, is one of the biggest leaders of this football team, Rodney McLeod. Rodney McLeod is a safety who's been on this team for a, a quite a minute. I mean, he won a Super Bowl with us. Uh, so Rodney McLeod, he is a free agent this year. Um, obviously, this guy brings a load of leadership. Uh, he, he is one of the biggest leaders of this team definitely helps you out in terms of just wanting to embrace the moment and he always just finds a way to just make big plays happen and you know have that confidence obviously I don't know if he's gonna stick around for the long haul because you know he's getting up there in age uh, obviously the city of Philadelphia loves this guy I love him uh, he had that game-winning interception against the Washington football team, or Washington Commanders, as they like to say it. So, I mean, this guy definitely brings a lot to this team. Uh, his leadership will be missed if he decides to leave the Philadelphia Eagles, which I expect him to. Um, I think he'll be either released or... Uh, oddly enough, I could see him retiring because I don't really think he wants to go to another place i mean any player that comes to the city of philadelphia always cherishes the moment i mean this city is just so filled with brotherly love brotherly love um it, it, it's it's amazing and i just i want to keep him for one more year because i feel like we're going to get a safety in the later rounds um just for the sake of our like youth I think we need to go young, and I think Rodney McLeod is most likely going to leave the Philadelphia Eagles this offseason. That is me personally. Um, I could see us getting a free agency uh, safety, or I could see us going with a safety through the draft, which I expect us to. Um, but now let's look at some notable free agents that the Philadelphia Eagles can get with all that money they have in this 2022 uh, off season in terms of the free agency.
we've discussed about all of the Eagles free agents. Now let's look at the Philadelphia Eagles and what can they do in this free agency going forward for this 2022-2023 upcoming season. So let's start off with the first free agent that the Philadelphia Eagles can get. And that is none other than star wide receiver of the Chicago Bears, Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson is arguably a top five receiver. I consider him to be a top 10 receiver whenever he's healthy and he is ready to suit up. This guy is legit. Um, He's literally everything you want in a receiver, whether it comes to size, speed, versatility, uh, hands. He has all of that. Um, He's literally everything you want in a receiver just in terms of what he can do and what he presents with the skill set that he has. Uh, He's a receiver that the Eagles have targeted for a while, but just can never make the push for him. Like, they've they've, uh, tried to. They've recruited him. There's a couple players on this team that's already tried to recruit him. Um, And it's successful. It's unsuccessfully worked yet. Um, So... This is probably our biggest opportunity, I would say, because you're looking at not only a legitimate top 10 receiver, but you're looking at all this money uh, that you have to spend in this free agency, and you get a player that you've been wanting to target for a while, why not go get him? I mean, he makes an instant impact. He's your one already as soon as he comes here he's your number one receiver him and Devontae make an absolute tandem Uh, with the both of their route running skills is absolutely ridiculous now imagine if you pair that up with a guy like Quez Watkins who's also gotten better in terms of his route running that definitely helps a young quarterback like Jalen Hurts improve uh going forward now that's the first player Now, let's go on to the defense. Notable players on defense. So, a couple notable players on defense for this 2022 free agency class of defensive ends. Um, Starting off with Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones, I mean, I I don't really think I have to say too much. He is a top five, top ten Honestly, he's a top 10 defensive player in this league. You could say, I mean, people don't want to look at him, but this guy is ridiculously good. I mean, he damn near puts up a 20 sacks a season. Like, Jesus, imagine if we had that on that, uh, on this team. Honestly, I love Chandler Jones. Um, you know, the only problem with him is he's old. That's the only thing. But, you know... I I believe we have to go young. I will say that. But I also am one of those people that wants to get players that have experience. And you're trying to go to the playoffs again. I mean, you just made the playoffs. Obviously, we lost in the playoffs. But you're looking at Chandler Jones. And you're looking at a stand-up that, uh, a defensive end that can get home. Uh practically 99% of the time I mean this season he had I believe 10 and a half sacks uh in 2020 he had zero sacks but I I don't blame that on him um and I I I mean he had like 19 in 2020 uh and in 2019 he had 13 in 2018 this guy is legit a top 10 player or top 10 or top 20 defensive and top 20 defensive player in freaking general um this guy is a monster imagine him paired up with josh sweat javon hargrave uh per se let's say if we keep pleasure cox this dude and him and you're getting brandon graham back you you can definitely create a lot of stunts with this guy and he'll get home for sure um, I, I believe he is one of the most underrated players in this league. Uh, for what he's done, he never gets the credit that he deserves. So I, I definitely would love to see him on this team. Let's go to a linebacker. 
that had a amazing season. Devondre Campbell. Devondre Campbell had, I believe, I want to say, he had about, let me see. Uh, he had, I want to say he had zero sa- or two sacks this year. He had two sacks. And you're, you're not going to expect a lot of sacks as a linebacker. Um, that's the front four's job. But linebacker has a big part to do with that. But this guy went from side to side on the field. He made a lot of stops. He stopped mostly every, every running back on the damn field. He had 15, uh, barely uh, any uh, yards given up. He had two interceptions, I want to say. All right, so he had combined tackles. He had 146. Assisted tackles, he had 44. Uh, He had one of the best seasons for a linebacker this season. I think he would be a perfect fit for what we're doing. I mean, the guy is 28 years old. Obviously, he's going to expect a lot of money, especially for what he accomplished this season. Um, and he, he was an all-pro. He, he was an all-pro this year. Um, so, obviously, that's one thing you have to cut out for and look for when you're getting a guy like this. Um, and the money that goes into a player like this is obviously going to be expensive. But we have the money for him. We really do. And when you bring him on this defense, this is a player that can be a solidified starter and has an all-pro uh, to his name. So, obviously, if he comes on this team, it's going to be a big major help for the younger linebackers. And as soon as he plays, he's the oldest linebacker on our team at just 28 years old. He'll be the key of our defense, I think. Um, he, I think he's more of a middle linebacker or it could be an outside linebacker, but this guy definitely wrecked home and got to the quarterback this year and stopped mostly any running back that was in his way. So that's one player that I would love to have on the defensive side, especially at the linebacker position. Let's, let's talk about the secondary. Now we have Darius Williams in the secondary. No, we don't actually have him, but, um, Darius Williams is one player that I I want to get um because Darius Williams I know he's not the greatest player in the world but you don't need to be the greatest player in the world when you're playing with a um when you're playing with a number one corner on the opposite side of you so him going from Jalen Ramsey to Darius Slay obviously is a I guess downfall I guess because Jalen Ramsey and Darius Slay that's two different people two different um players per se so I I believe Darius Slay he's not that far off of Ramsey but he's not better than him um he's not in that elite category like Ramsey but he's still a really good cornerback in this league um elite I wouldn't say that, but he's a good cornerback. Damn good uh, player. Um, now, if you bring Darius Williams in, you expect him to be your number two. Um, you just need a guy that you can put next to Darius Slay and not expect too much from him because obviously they won't look at Slay. So you need a cornerback opposite of him that can hold their ground. And you know the slot and the nickel that's covered up and flustered up because you have a player that can play that position with Avante Maddox, who had a, a tremendous season um, covering those slot receivers. I don't think Williams is going to ask for too much money. He is a free agent this offseason. I think he would be a perfect fit in Jonathan Gannon's scheme. And I think Steven Nelson is going to leave this team and go elsewhere. So bring Darius Williams in. Uh, you, I mean, you need someone because Tay Gowan and Zach McPherson are very young players. Um, so they still need a lot of developing and grooming. Um, let's bring Darius Williams in and, uh, definitely opposite of Darius Slay. Now let's go to the safety position. Um, 
ever since Malcolm Jenkins left this safety group or safety core, yeah, it's it's definitely gone downhill. Um, he is a player that has always repped the city of Philadelphia. Whenever he left, it definitely sucked. Um, now let's let's just focus on their uh, Marcus Williams or Marcus May. Why do I keep saying Marcus? Uh, Marcus May. Um, let's let's focus on Marcus May. Uh, this safety is from the New York Jets. Um, let me pull his stats up right quick. Marcus May, he played with um, Jamal Adams a couple years ago. Um, you know, he is one of the most underrated players in this league. Uh, honestly, I think he is underappreciated because he's played with Jamal Adams and people... Uh, always have thought that Jamal Adams was clearly better than him. Which, I mean, Jamal Adams is probably better than Marcus May. But Marcus May never got the credit that he deserves for the stuff that he did. Um, he's a good covered safety. I like that about him. He had one uh, sack this year. Uh, no safeties. He had 16 assist tackles. 46 combined tackles. Um, this guy definitely is underrated. He'll definitely help in terms of, you know, grooming these young safeties. I mean, he's 28 years old himself. Um, so, and you're not losing too much because if, let's say, you get rid of Rodney McLeod and you bring this guy in, uh, that's only like two to three years of age difference. Um, so, I, I, I would love to have a guy like Marcus May. I think he's going to want to demand a little bit of money. Um, but if you bring him in, he'll definitely help. And you might get a safety through the draft. Now, that is this video. I want to uh, let you guys um, just take the time to appreciate and like this video. Definitely took me time. Um, so, appreciate you guys for watching. Your boy is out. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay blessed. Um, and please hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.